It won't budge. A seedy looking bar called the Garden. Unfortunately, it's shut. It's locked. It must. It's locked. It. It's the wrong key. It's unlocked. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Won't open. It won't budge. It won't open. Do you need any help? Disease is rampant in this town. It won't budge. It won't open. It won't budge. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. You're in the wrong place asking the wrong questions, outside. The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warren's. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. It won't budge. Warren's passed away. The food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up. And all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't going to know anything.
This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. Her sleep is restless and erratic. The old woman's dead. It won't budge. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Count Wiley says that I know him. It won't open. It won't budge. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Nothing of interest. The door is bolted shut.
<laughs> Looks like a diary. An old wardrobe. They've taken the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. 
Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combination's in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends unless we handle things by the old ways. It's Ramona's coloring book. Don't budge. <sighs> Nothing of interest. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We've got to do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca.
won't budge. It's unlocked. It won't open. It won't budge. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break-in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. I must have made a mistake. I must have made a mistake. I must have made a mistake. I must have made a mistake.